Uh, Adam Schefter, first to note, uh, no details yet. We can take some educated guesses. Lyle Collins, according to ESPN, has been suspended as of like right now for five games. What carries uh, a five game? I mean, my immediate thought is PED of some sort, and that's we, reckless. And so I'm saying allegedly, but that's what jumps in my mind when I hear four, five, not, six games. Yeah, I just reached out to Adam and asked him, and he has no idea himself. So I don't know what? if we're going to get a follow up on that. What well, we will. We'll get a follow up at uh, McCarthy, right? Uh, Coming up at five. Well, there's that, and then there'll be there'll be the NFL transaction wire. Uh, that comes up at 4 p.m. Eastern time, so uh, uh, 4 p.m. Uh, 4 p.m. our time. So uh, it's coming. And Jeffrey, I don't uh, let, let's let's be reckless and irresponsible for a moment because if you got suspended for five games, you were reckless and irresponsible, probably, right? Yeah, maybe. I mean, that's just any time that I hear that somebody has been suspended and I don't see a reason, my yeah. mind goes to the some sort of performance enhancing substance. Especially when a guy who's been chubby all his life is suddenly not chubby. Hey, hey, that's <laughs> diet, brother. Well, that we're being reckless and irresponsible, <laughs> wow. just like just just like a player who got suspended. If if this is indeed so, that he he did something reckless and irresponsible too. So we're all in the same boat. This is not good. You'll get Zach Martin, of course, back for week two, but now you'll lose Lyle Collins. You do this at the same time that you think you're going to lose the wide receiver Michael Gallup for a month uh, with a calf problem, and um, both these things, you know, you know, one one guy, one guy down, you can survive it. I thought the Cowboys without Zach Martin last night, but your man Vea was awfully good. Yeah, he's uh, tough. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, that's 347 pounds of dump truck, but and, agile, and, agile dump and truck. athletic. Yeah, yeah. Um, this is the old. You know, and, and around here, we, you know, it's three technique and one technique. But, you know, can you be a wide body and still get up the field and make plays? And that guy does it and did it last night and gave the Cowboys all kinds of problems. But they survived without Zach Martin. Um, but, but just when you get him back, now you're going to lose Lyle Collins. And so now we're back to the tie in Secchi. Can I throw this? Can I throw this out yeah. to you, Fish? And I'm yeah. not going to be at the presser. And we already talked to Stephen, and I don't think I'd word it this way to Stephen uh, because I respect Stephen and fear him more than I fear you. <laughs> but here's the way that I'll word this to you: If Zach Martin isn't the right tackle and Connor McGovern the right guard for the next five weeks, you are not giving your team the best chance to win at football. Zach Martin you should play right tackle for five weeks. Yeah, you, I think the three of us are on the same page here, but we did address this about a week ago with McCarthy, and he said that would be a last resort, emergency, hate to have to go there. Well, I, I, I might have to say back to him today, well, this is kind of an emergency, Coach, uh, be yeah. because you just, you just lost your blue chip right tackle. Uh, we just saw that Connor McGovern is kind of a player. Uh, he, he looks like he's a suitable player, and you've seen no evidence from Ty Insecki as a member of the Cowboys that he is that. So, yes, this is something that should be readdressed. Um, you, you don't, you, you've discovered that you have a little depth in the offensive line in a certain part of it, just not uh, in terms of official backup tackles. You have depth by, by going with the Tony Wise, Jimmy Johnson, best five approach, and uh, that is a drum that we will beat here. Uh, until the Cowboys tell us again how, how stupid we are for thinking this is fantasy football, as Coach did a year ago. Now, Fish, we're getting the report that Lyle Collins' five-game suspension is for violation of NFL policy and program on substances of abuse. So now mm. your your job is to go find out which substance and then tell us if you like it. Okay, and does that does that count as irresponsible and reckless? Uh, yeah, if you're doing something that is going to fail for something that's not allowed in the NFL. In this day and age, yeah. and we'd have to go pour through the CBA, uh, and that's no fun, but it's not marijuana. You don't get suspended for five games for marijuana. They got suspended without pay, too, so it's something pretty significant. Yeah, and uh, good ones. That's, yeah. That's, yeah, that's unfortunate on a lot of levels. So is the Michael Gallup injury now again. Do the, do the Cowboys have depth here? Sure they do. They've got, they've got two guys above Michael Gallup, uh, and they got Cedric Wilson behind him. It still takes a bite out of what you do offensively. And then, you know, Michael Gallup, a friend of the program, uh, he, he sure is a nice kid. And here's a contract year, and, uh, and, and this, you know, this takes a chunk out of what he's going to be able to achieve 
there goes your thousand yard season almost certainly uh and i don't know how much this affects your money but it certainly doesn't help it right now so the cowboys will plow on here for the next month without lyle collins uh without michael gallup 